Hello everybody, this is uh, Jim, KB2SYH. Want to share a uh, different design of an antenna made by uh, Dave, KE0ZZ. I'll put the link down bottom. Uh, it's a 40, 80, and 160 meter dipole inverted V. Um, and it works beautifully. I've used it for five years now. I, I've used his design specifically, it works fine. I had to build one for a friend of mine who was looking for uh, an antenna that will handle 160. So I told him I'd build him one, I was happy with it. So uh, when I decided to build it, I came up with a different idea for the coils and how they attach to the wires. And uh, I'll share that with you. And uh, either way you build it, you're gonna love the antenna. It works great. Uh, I can't thank Dave enough. So uh, hope you enjoy. I took his coil design and rather than use the stainless steel hardware, I wound the coils, put the uh, end of the coil wire inside the PVC pipe and I drilled uh, two holes, three eighths inch holes and I got some three eighths aluminum rod. And so what I'm going to do is uh, this aluminum rod, uh, I have uh, PVC caps here. I'm going to drill a, uh, there's a hole drilled in the center and I'm going to have wire come out of that hole and I was originally going to tie a knot in that to hold that there. But what will happen is that wire will spin and break the connection loose if you solder this to that wire. So what I decided to do was put this rod in here to keep that from spinning. And I will wrap that wire that comes through that hole, I'll wrap that around there, solder it against itself, solder that lead on there, and then slide and glue the cap on. And that will give us a somewhat weathertight uh, connection, but um, save you on the stainless steel hardware and also uh, make it look a little uh, fancier. So that's it. So I hope you enjoy. So we have our half of our dipole, our 40 meter, 80 meter, and 160 meter dipole. This 40 meter second you adjust by uh, adjusting the length of the wire, going to your antenna splitter. Your 40 meter section here, uh, I've left this cap loose on this one. This, this piece here is all glued together. This cap is loose so that once you adjust the length on this, you could trim the wire, wrap it back around that pipe, and then finally solder. This is just kind of twisted around itself. Um, hopefully that'll look a little neater once it's soldered. Then you would glue the cap back on for your 160 meter you would just adjust the length of this wire to wherever it's going to be attached to your fence post or a tree or whatever it may be. Uh, and that's basically it. Um, looks a little sleeker than the original. Here is half of our dipole. Uh, we have our 40 meter, our 80 meter. 160 meter. Uh, the 40 meter and 80 meter, uh, the 80 meter coil is actually assembled, glued together, soldered, and ready to go. Um, in order to adjust your 40 meter, you would adjust the length of this going up to your uh, antenna splitter or your ballon. Um, in order to adjust the 160 meter, you would shorten the length of this uh, section here uh, when you tie it off that'll adjust your SWR for your 160 meter in order to adjust the 40 meter what I've done is I've uh, I'm gonna temporarily place this through this cap here and I'm going to wrap it around here and then solder it to the coil but I'm not going to solder it because I'm shipping this to a friend of mine and he's going to have to adjust this based on his uh, environment so what I'll do is I'll set this up temporarily he can hang it up and uh, he could set the other uh, he could set the 40 meter uh, for best SWR and then he can come and uh, reduce the length of this until he gets his uh, 80 meter set correctly and then he could do his 160 when he's done with that so uh, in order to do this I wanted to kind of show you guys how I assemble these things how this one's put together um, obviously without the solder 
So the first thing you gotta do is um, strip this wire, whatever the end is, strip it like this. And I'll show you this little ruler here. I don't know if you can see that. But basically, this is about an inch, this is about an inch, and there's about four inches of insulation here. Now I left this insulation on because when I was when I wrapped these around these aluminum uh, uh, rods here, it acts as a heat sink and it's very hard to solder. So if I leave the insulation on there, wrap it around, uh, it's a lot easier to solder with a soldering gun. So to make this easy, what I've done is taken an extra piece of this rod and I actually wrap it outside of this coil so that you don't have to try to wrap it in there it's almost impossible to do so what I'll do is I'll wrap this once and I'll wrap it twice okay pull this tight and then I will twist this around like this okay that will hold that there now I could slide this off and then I could slide it into here but before I do that I'll have to strip some of this uh, magnetic wire coating off here so I can wrap it around here uh, that should be good enough for testing once he gets the right length my, my uh, friend of mine he'll have to cut this down do the same thing I've done here once he gets it correct then he can solder it slide this cap on and glue it in place and he'll be he'll be good to go if you look on if you notice on this this cap very tight against the coil that's how i wanted them all to be i left an inch and a quarter here so that that cap could slide on and go all the way for some reason i think the rods might have been a little longer here uh due to the uh maybe the pipe wasn't round and i thought it was had plenty of room but when i went to put them on they kind of jammed up and didn't go all the way tight against this coil so not a big deal i'm gonna fiberglass this anyway but i really would have liked it to look nice like this so the next time i build one of these i'll make sure i take a little bit less off here make sure these rods are trimmed to the right size and make sure that that cap's going to slide all the way up and butt against this coil here and then eventually this gets fiberglass to protect it from the sun and you're good to go so uh let me continue on with uh this uh, stripping this wire and I'll be back in a second okay so um, I have this stripped and what I'm gonna do now is I, I've used this rod to pre-wind this connection here so now what I'll do is I'll just slip this in here and I'll push the rod through I'll move this wire out of the way here before I break it see a little proud here uh, it's uh, lower than both surfaces but still in there so now when the cap goes on it'll keep this thing from pulling out uh, now what I'll do is I, I leave a little slack on this wire and you can kind of wrap it around a couple times um, and you want to uh, wrap this around when I try to uh, <clears throat> when I do this here you, you kind of want to keep this insulation from coming through the cap this is kind of a little long but it's only temporary so uh, I would say instead of an inch on this thing make it a half inch so that your insulation is down a little bit lower uh, it's nice and tight um, and now I'll just slip this on here and you can see that'll definitely go with a little bit of glue that'll go all the way up there and we'll have no problems with that so um all in all and actually it may be fine with the uh, the way i have it but now this is all set from my friend to test out and 
adjust the length on that. When he's all done and it's adjusted, it'll look like this, all glued together, and uh, it'll look kind of nice. Um, uh, a lot less hardware, no, a little less hardware. I mean, you need to throw the, the uh, aluminum rod. Probably a little bit more work. I'm not really sure which way is better, but um, I just like the way it looks. So I'll leave it with that. This is a Jim KB2 SYH, and I uh, hope you enjoy this. And uh, leave any comments if you want. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask.